The Nintendo Switch 2 will be one of the most amazing consoles out there when it comes to having fun. And it all has to do with it, the upcoming games that are going to be made for this console. So let's go ahead and talk about the games for Nintendo Switch 2. Let's get started. Welcome to the Odyssey. Hit the like, press play. You're running with the squad like Zeno Blade. And I'm happy to announce that we are on our way to 40k and our giveaway winner can choose between a PS5 and a Switch OLED. All you gotta do is subscribe, turn that bell on for notifications, follow us on social media if you have it, and of course join our Discord to claim the prize. Hey guys, welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey and I uh, just want to put a short disclaimer out there before I begin the video. The games that I am about to talk on this video they're all speculative, meaning all the games that I'm going to talk about basically are either been announced or I want them to come to Switch 2 or they will make it eventually to Switch 2 once we get a more powerful console, right? So all we're going to do here is mention some certain games that basically are exist right now that are going to continue on Switch 2. Some games from outside of Nintendo that are coming for, for to Nintendo Switch when it comes to Switch 2. And then switch to games that are meant for switch to meaning nintendo switch games for switch 2. at no point in this video am i stating that these are the games that are coming uh, this is not inside information this video is just for fun to talk about discussion and just to continue the conversation on switch 2. so with all the rumors out there when it comes to the nintendo switch 2 and the specs of it we understand that we are getting a more powerful nintendo switch right whether it's called nintendo switch switch 2 super switch or maybe even drop the switch altogether we know that what's coming is more powerful than what we have now with this comes better games right better resolution better experience now i want to talk about in particular games okay that are out right now that will move forward to the nintendo switch not every game that is currently on nintendo switch will move forward with it they will be compatible when it comes to backwards compatibility yes you can take your old games from the switch and bring them forward but i can think about three games on the top of my head that i know will get the switch to treatment and i mean that nintendo will actually give these games some sort of treatment or update in order to make it run with the new hardware you know maybe when it comes to resolution maybe add a dlc some feature some gameplay you know everything else when it comes to the library that it's going to move forward but only certain games nintendo will focus on in order to make them switch to compatible or switch to games as a whole now this first game is pokemon scarlet and violet this is the very first game that confirmed it to us that nintendo was working on the switch 2 for this year and also a patch to better the resolution of the game the graphics the performance and everything in between right we got this leak during the pokemon presents presentation where this leaker basically leaked all of the information regarding the pokemon presents then gave us that cherry on top telling us that they are working on a patch for pokemon pokemon scarlet and violet to help it run better on the next generation nintendo console the next game getting a nintendo switch 2 treatment is a no-brainer it's the most anticipated game of the year it's tears of the kingdom which technically for a lot of people is the very last big game on nintendo switch before we see the next gen nintendo console now we know that nintendo switch has been a great console and we see the, the how how nintendo has really really built this game for nintendo switch but i feel like we will truly see what nintendo built when it comes to tears of the kingdom on the next generation switch i think that when nintendo does introduce tears of the kingdom on nintendo switch it will be with some sort of dlc a major dlc that might contain more stories not just little uh side quests or maybe the massive sort of side quest but i feel nintendo will actually introduce a brand new story for us to follow maybe if we defeated ganon and demise maybe this side quest will be something else regarding 
uh, Tears of the Kingdom. But when it comes to how Tears of the Kingdom looks, feels, plays, I feel that we are going to enjoy and we are going to really see the full capability of the world and how it looks with the Nintendo Switch 2. So if you think that the visuals right now on the Nintendo Switch look great, if you think this game runs amazing on Nintendo Switch, then let me tell you, you have not seen anything yet. This game will look completely different on Nintendo Switch 2. It will look amazing, run amazing, and just feel like a completely different new game with higher resolutions and just such amazing visuals the third game that i believe will get the switch to treatment believe it or not at the beginning i was i thought it was xenoblade chronicles 3 but actually nintendo just released the xenoblade chronicles 3 dlc it's coming out very soon and it, they're actually rushing it out before the switch 2 is even out so i thought that this dlc was meant to be for the switch 2 right same thing with with fire emblem engaged there was another dlc that I thought was coming later in the year for the Nintendo Switch 2, but no, it was rushed out early on. Now, my pick for the game that Nintendo will actually give us more content on and actually kind of bring up revive in the Nintendo Switch 2 is a lot is one that many fans out there have lost hope on. Then this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes, Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch in 2020 did amazing. It kind of boosted sales to a point where Nintendo became such a lucrative company, right? And with this, you know, Animal Crossing almost comes out three years after a Nintendo console comes out. But when it comes to this game, I feel like Nintendo will actually give it the Nintendo Switch 2 treatment give it a dlc and maybe a different name for example and this is just speculative i haven't i've not heard anything but animal crossing new horizons deluxe edition so this would be a, a version of animal crossing that nintendo could release for switch 2 to revitalize the 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 the, the actual game get, get people more excited about this animal crossing which has a big giant fan base and they need some updates. So I believe we might get something in that line. All right, so now I have three top picks of games that are already out there, not available on Switch, that will literally jump on Switch the minute Switch 2 comes out. And the first one is Elden Ring. Yes, Elden Ring will be one of the first games to jump ship and come over to the Nintendo Switch. I don't mean jump ship as in leave other consoles, but literally just jump ship and get into the small ship which is Nintendo Switch 2, because you know they recognize the fan base, the, the number of accounts that Nintendo has, and Elden Ring will be such an amazing game to come over and play. We'll be played on a handheld level. So Elden Ring, yes, believe it or not, this game will be on the Switch 2, I think within the first month or two. Now this next pick is a bit weird because it's already announced for the Nintendo Switch, but it was giving a release date that was way off the other release date for the other consoles. And I'm talking about Hogwarts Legacy. Although Hogwarts Legacy is coming to Nintendo Switch, I don't believe this will be a full game when it comes to uh, physical on Switch. I think that the reason why they pushed it back is because they want to focus on the Switch 2 version of the game and then probably release a, a, a different version or a lighter version or maybe even a cloud version on Nintendo Switch. You know, they've been tight-lipped on whether the Switch version will be uh, uh, a physical version. There's no uh, no information out there. Has There has been no confirmation whether this game will be physical on Switch and the date of release is a little bit suspicious, right? So what I feel is that this game will get a physical release on Switch 2 and a cloud version release on Switch. Now, this is meant to kind of entice people to also buy the Switch 2, buy the Switch 2 version of Hogwarts Legacy, and maybe upgrade their Switch if they want to play it in, you know, phys physically rather than in the cloud. So that's a game that I feel will be on Switch 2 and will be on Switch Cloud version. Now, before we move on to first-party games coming to Nintendo Switch 2, I have one more choice 
for a potential port to Nintendo Switch 2 uh, when it comes to third-party games out there. And this is Final Fantasy Remake. Now, we know that Sony has some type of exclusivity when it comes to the new upcoming games with Final Fantasy Remake, but I believe that at least for the first game and then second game as they go along they will eventually make it to the xbox uh, line and also nintendo switch 2 line and it'll be awesome because hey final fantasy did start with nintendo and we did get final fantasy crisis core which was one of the most amazing games i played on nintendo switch and now i know if this game makes it to nintendo switch 2 it, it'll be amazing to play on handheld on in a dark mode in 4k resolution so that's th these are my picks when it comes to third party games and i want to move over now to first party games which i know you guys are looking forward to so let's go ahead and get started with those now of course the first game i predict will be the launch game for the nintendo switch 2 and i am talking about a brand new 3d mario not 2d mario i'm gonna say 3d mario nintendo started experimenting with mario with bowser's fury when it comes to the open world concept or at least the type of open world that you have to unlock in order to get full access to if you played bowser's fury to me this is my favorite 3d game out there it's technically a a 3d open zone but as you unlock areas it becomes an open world so i think nintendo is leaning more towards giving us a full-fledged 3d game which will also be kind of open zone unlocking to become open world type of game just like bowser's fury so if you want to know what nintendo's up to go play bowser's fury and have an idea of what's coming next because i believe that the next nintendo game super mario game will be a massive massive game will be an open world game and it'll be a launch game with the success of the Super Mario movie, the Super Nintendo world being built, I believe Donkey Kong will have its moment to shine next. And I believe this is going to be one of the most incredible Donkey Kong games ever made. Nintendo is going to bank on Donkey Kong just like it banked on Super Mario because I believe that Donkey Kong was literally a big part of why the Super Mario movie was so successful and nintendo knows this there is a park being built there is a movie being made and there is a game coming out on nintendo switch 2. now if you ask me what type of donkey kong game are we getting i will tell you we are getting a 3d platformer now if you ask me whether this game will be linear or open world i will tell you this game will be open world and if you ask me when this game is coming out i will tell you holiday season 2023 before i mention the last game i know will be debuting with nintendo switch 2 nintendo will also be working on ports right for example there are a lot of games in the legend of zelda franchise that will make it to switch to one way or another whether it's a remake from top down games or a port like ocarina of time wind waker twilight princess all these games will make it to switch 2 and be given the 4k treatment and these ports will make a lot of people happy including myself and now let's move on to the last pick of the game that will make its debut with the nintendo switch 2 and this game is metroid prime 4 many fans including myself were surprised with the work that nintendo put into metroid prime remaster and it only made us even more excited for what we are going to see in metroid prime 4. yes we are about to enter one of metroid's best games ever i believe it because when it comes to a metroid game i think that nintendo is gonna go ahead and throw everything they have at metroid to bring it up to another level i believe that metroid is another franchise that nintendo will take advantage of when it comes to the cinematic universe when it comes to the parks when it comes to everything they have planned outside of the gaming world metroid has so much potential and so metroid will be the other game that nintendo will invest a lot in in order to bring it to another level now for this to happen we have to have a metroid game like we've never seen before a plot like we've never seen before 
gameplay like we've never seen before, visuals like we've never seen before, and something to bring this game to another level, something to bring this game to the mass media, rather than just the, 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 the regular fans that are used to Metroid games. Nintendo needs to do something with Metroid that will literally call attention and make a blast. You know, no pun intended. And of course, these are not all the games. If I miss anything, if you would love to see Nintendo launch a certain game, leave it down below in the comments so we can continue this conversation down below. I believe that Nintendo Switch 2 will be a system that will literally revolutionize the industry. I think that we are going, we are about to witness another system that will be among the best selling of all time. And I believe it'll only get better from there. All right, guys, if you like this video, please help me out with that thumbs up. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Are there any games you would love to see Nintendo bring to Switch 2? And that is going to do it for this episode of the Odyssey. But before I let you go, I have two important things I need to let you know. Number one, never give up. And number two, journey on. Peace. We're on a journey. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now